All right, let's get our feet hip width apart, toes straight ahead, sitting bones down, core activated to support your spine, shoulders back and down, crown to the ceiling. And just take a moment focusing inward, getting that yoga perspective as you breathe in awareness and exhale stress. Spread your toes, relax your knees, inhale, bring your arms to shoulder level and do our warm up, stretching through your fingertips. Exhale, hands to your heart, stretch out to the front, shoulders down, and then clasp your hands behind, lift your heart, stretch your head back. And then pivot at your hips, exhale on over. Hands up, head down, spread your toes, Straighten your knees if you want a little back of your legs stretch. Move your chin around, release your neck. And then bend your knees a little more and start at the bottom of your spine, working all the way up and lift your heart. Stretch your head back, shoulders down, keep breathing. And don't forget to keep your toes spreading, not gripping. Inhale to the top, release your arms. Take a moment feeling your body as it starts to get a little warmer. And same thing, arms are reaching out, hands to your chest, stretch to the front, and clasp your hands the other way behind you. Cross your hands to the floor and lift your heart and pivot over as you exhale. And again, just deepen as far as you'd like. Bring your hands towards your head, get those shoulders starting to release. And again, start at the bottom of the spine as you work back up and into another nice little back bend. Stretch your head back, but don't tip your head chin too high to the ceiling. You want to keep that back of the neck stretching. And inhale up, release your arms. And again, just observe your body responding. Arms out, palms toward the ceiling, hands above your shoulders. Pass them and clasp. Bring your arms back by your ears, spread your toes, sink into your feet evenly, and keep your body facing the front as you lean to the side. So ribs opening, no twist on this one, so don't lean forward. Stretch it out through your fingertips, through your head, down into that foot you're leaning away from. Inhale back up and switch your arms, balance your body. And again, arms by your ears, stretching everything straight and lean to the other side. Maximize it for you and don't forget to breathe. Feel those ribs opening. And inhale up, shoulders stay down as you bring your arms back to your sides. Let's circle the shoulders a couple of times to release that neck area and shoulder area. Circling them around one way and the other and into mountain pose. Time for our twist, but stretch the bones apart for your spine to move. Arms at shoulder level, palms up, hands above your shoulders, clasp your elbows, spread your toes, stretch up and exhale, turn to one side. Take a breath, exhale on over. Deepen into your forward position in your twist. Keep the weight on both feet. Keep your arms by your ears. Lift your sitting bones maybe a little bit more. And then stay in your twist, working your way back up. Lift your heart, coming into your upper body only for the back bend, being careful with your low back. Inhale upright, exhale around to the center and switch your arms. And again, pull your arms back by your ears, stretch the spine apart and twist to the other side. Another breath and exhale over. Take a moment as you hang, just letting things release. Spread your toes, keep the weight on both feet. And again, on an inhalation, come back up in the twist into that upper body back bend. Elbows back, shoulders down. Take a breath. And then inhale up, 
Exhale around to the center. Bring your arms up, extended mountain. Shoulders stay down, sitting bones down, core activated. Feel your whole body sink evenly into your feet. And then swan dive, bring the arms out, pivot forward, bow, and just drop into ragdoll. Take a moment there. Slide your hands up under your knees, come into that halfway up stretch and lengthen your spine. Keep that core active, supporting your spine. Exhale down, knees bent, and roll up one more time. Bring the shoulders back and down, and again into mountain pose. As you get there, just take a moment, or reach the crown toward the ceiling. Let's spring into our little gentle windmill twist, going side to side. So remember, Base of the skull, base of the spine, stretch apart whenever you're twisting. And just relax your shoulders and don't forget to breathe. And then let's bring the hips around for some big circles. And then stop and go the other way. Big circles, just letting that lower back and hip area get a little bit more released. And then bring your hands onto your back, heels of your palms about your lower shoulder blades, fingertips down toward your hips. Roll those elbows toward each other, feel your heart open. And then push your hands just gently into that low back for support and look up, but not too much with the chin. Don't keep, keep stretching the back of your neck, not crunching it. And lift your heart maybe a little higher. So. Bring up out of that low back into the back bend. Keep breathing. Keep those elbows reaching toward each other. And then chin toward your chest and come on back up. Release and relax. Focus on your ribs. You can keep your fingertips there if you want and just move them around. So not too much in the shoulders or the hips, just mostly in that midsection. And then the other way. Circle front side, back side, and release. Now again, take a moment to breathe as you angle your toes out for our pelvic tilts. So toes heading to the sides, just gently knees going where your toes go. Hands above your knees to position your shoulders over your toes. And remember, don't press into your knees. Make sure those knees are tracking towards your toes, not out or in. And then push the sitting bones back and the chest forward and get a nice back bend through that whole back of your body. And then exhale, tuck the sitting bones down and forward, pull the ribs in and look down between your feet. Nice forward bend, stretching the spine. Inhale into the back bend, push those hips back. Exhale, forward bend. Feel that whole pelvis moving, breathing with it. Exhale, in tension as you come forward. Sink evenly into both feet. Remember, no pressure in your hands, just keeping those shoulders over your toes. And then the next time you're forward, Come on back up, shoulders back and down, coming back into mat pose. Take a moment there and breathe as you bring your hands to your heart. Look at your fingertips, inhale, bring your hands toward the ceiling. Keep looking at the thumbs as you pull them further back and lift your heart. Again, a nice upper body back bend. Exhale, pivot on over. Follow your hands down toward the floor into ragdoll. Go in deeper with your hands behind your legs and get a good back stretch. And then hands to the front, slide them up on your shins and that halfway up stretch, length of the spine. As you exhale, come on back down into ragdoll and transition to the floor. So hips back on your heels, hands, palms up, Forehead to the floor and relax. Deep breath, tension out. And then hands to the front, slide your feet back and come all the way down on your belly into resting crocodile. 
Shoulders down, hands, palms up, head to one side, take a breath or two, and then exhale, turn your head to the opposite side, getting that neck releasing on each side. Take a moment there, just breathe and relax. And then bring your chin to the floor in front of you, shoulders down, and turn your hands, palms down. Keep your feet hip width apart, slide the toes back, and then lift the right leg, keep the knees straight, put this hip bones down, and stretch out through the toes as you lift that foot as high as it wants to go. Keep sliding that chin forward unless your neck feels too terrible, and then put your forehead down instead. Take a breath, lift that leg maybe a little higher, and then slowly reach out through the toes as you lower the foot. Forehead to the floor, stretch the back of your neck as you get ready for the opposite leg. Feet hip width apart, stretch those toes away, and left leg comes up this time, chin sliding forward, and hip bones pressing down as much as they will. Keep the pelvis as even as you can, hip bones down, the leg coming only as high as it wants to go in your body. Remember, personal practice, just strengthening that lower back. Take a breath, maybe a little higher with the foot. And then exhale, stretch it out as you slowly lower the leg. And forehead to the floor. Take a moment there, just breathe. And you can keep your hands where they are or clasp them underneath you for a little more stability. And we'll do both feet together. So again, chin to the front, shoulders down, feet hip width apart, stretch them away and lift both feet up into locus. So go ahead, <clears throat> stretching through the toes, lifting the feet, pressing the hip bones down either into the floor or your arms, whatever works for you. Keep stretching and lifting. Lift as high as you'd like for that. Feel that low back yet yeah, starting to work, so don't overdo it. Take a breath, maybe a little higher, and then reaching out through your toes still, feet hip width, lower the legs to the floor. And when they touch, forehead down, release your hands, bring them under your shoulders, Breath into child pose for a nice forward bend, counteracting that back bend work. Take a breath. And exhale and relax. And then as you inhale, come up onto your knees and raise your arms toward the ceiling, lifting your whole body, looking up. And then as you exhale, follow the hands back down, rounding, slide the hands back, and again into child's pose. One more time, inhale, slide those hands up, and back, and exhale, coming back down. Now that felt good. Keep your feet hip width apart. Let's do it one more time. Sweep those hands forward all the way up. Nice little back bend, and exhale, coming back down, and again, into child's pose. Forehead down, relax the shoulders, hands, palms up. Take a breath, and bring your hands out to the front, to the sides of the mat, and again, pivot up, and all the way down, into resting crocodile. Take a breath. Just relaxing, let the shoulders release. Turn your chin, exhaling face to the opposite side. Release and relax as you sink into that surface beneath you. Just let everything go. Shoulders relaxing, especially across that upper shoulder area. And then bring your forehead to the floor. Bring your hands in next to your face. Elbows in toward your side. Plant the palms, forearms stay down. And then feet hip width apart. Inhale, face forward, climb toward the ceiling. 
Tuck your chin back slightly toward your chest. Pull those shoulder blades down toward your waist. And push your chest heart open and up, crown toward the ceiling. So a little cobra. Remember, you're not really pressing into the arms. You're letting the spine do the work. And if you want, you can move your arms just to prove that you're not pressing down. Take a breath. It's only as high as your body wants to go, remember. We're going to work that low back a little bit. So go ahead, exhale down. That's our upper body starting position. We're going to move the legs a little bit with it. So it's going to get incrementally more in that low back. So remember, personal practice, only go as far as your body wants to go. Forehead on the floor, feet hip width apart. Inhale, face to the front, crown up. Tuck that chin back toward your chest slightly and then push the chest forward and crown up. And again, come into that upper body position, arms just gently on the floor. Feet hip width apart, slide those toes back again and keeping the right leg straight, lift the leg up off the floor just a little bit. Keep stretching it out, you'll feel that a little more in the back. Take a breath. Crown up, foot up as much as you'd like. Exhale, foot to the floor. Take a breath. Exhale, upper body, forehead to the ground. Take a breath, just relax. Feel that circulation through your spine. And again, inhale, face forward, crown up, chin tucked, chest forward and up, shoulder, shoulder blades down, and toes sliding back. Left leg this time, leg straight. Just lift it up, stretch it out as much or as little as your back and body want. Take a breath, maybe a little higher with the head and foot if that works for you. And then exhaling, bring the foot down. Another breath, exhale the upper body down. Take a moment there, just breathing, let the tension go. Again, we'll do the both, both the legs together this time, so it's going to be more intense. Be gentle if you need to, as much as you need to. Inhale, face forward, crown up, chin tucking, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down, and just rise up into your upper body starting position. Remember, no pressure in those arms. Stretch back through the feet, through the base of the toes, and lift those feet both off the floor, only as high as you want them to go. Take a breath, maybe a little higher, maybe not. Lift the crown, lift the feet, only as much as you want. Remember, the spine is doing the work, not supporting on those arms. Take a breath, exhale, lower the feet. Another breath, exhale the upper body. Take a moment and relax. Slide the hands back under your shoulders. Press into them. And once more, all the way back in the child's pose. Take a moment and breathe. Just relax. Shoulders down, forehead toward the floor. As deeply as you'd like for that nice forward bend. Feel that stretch on your back. And then bring your hands out in front, pivot up just into table position. I know, just briefly. So get those wrist elbows and shoulders lined up, knees right under your hips, toes straight back. Lift those ribs, support that low back. And take a moment there and breathe. Then we're going to shift slightly forward and just bring your chin down toward the floor, hips slightly up and press back up and stretch through sitting bones and crown everything nice and straight lift those ribs support that back bring your right foot back and up to hip level keep the hip bone facing the floor even with that other hip and bring your opposite arm left arm forward stretch it out exhale hand to the floor knee down Slide back and circle your wrists. 
and come back up. Take a moment there, realigning, repositioning. Keep that chest pulling toward your thumbs and the ribs up toward your spine. And left foot up at hip level behind you. The legs straight, hip bones toward the floor. And this time the right arm comes forward, stretch it out. Take a breath, feel that balance. And hand down, knee down. And again, push back and release. Circle the wrists. Oh yeah, we're gonna do it once more. Come on, pivot up. Table position, get that spine supported. Chest slightly down. Stretch the sitting bones and crown away. Right foot back, up to hip level. Flex the foot, bend the knee, foot up toward the ceiling. And then hips even, bring that left arm forward. Turn the palm up and the little back work. So bring the foot and the hand a little further up. Feel it, breathe into it, maybe a little higher. And then straighten things out. Bring the hand to the floor, the knee down. And again, sink back and circle your wrists. Take another breath and pivot up. Yeah, last time, don't worry, not too much. So chest down, ribs up, sitting bones and crowns stretch apart. And left leg comes out right at hip level. Remember, keep rolling it in, so when you bend that leg and put the foot up to the ceiling, it's actually the bottom of the foot going up, not out or in. And again, opposite arm comes forward, turn the palm up, and foot and hand lift a little bit more into that back bend. If stay about even, but bring the foot and the hand as much into that as you like for the back bend. Breathe, maximizing, and then straighten things out, palm toward the floor, shoulders toward your waist, and hand to the mat, knee to the floor, and once more, sink back, forehead down, and into child's pose. Take a breath, and relax. And then, <clears throat> hands to the front, Pivot up and now begin to roll all the way onto your belly and rest and cock it up. Head to one side, hands, palms up, shoulders down. Take a breath or two. Get those feet hip width apart. Exhale, head to the opposite side. And we're going to start in our upper body starting position again. So this time, remember, it's going to be a little bit more incrementally challenging. So be gentle if you need to. Forehead to the floor, hands next to your face, forearms on the mat. And inhale, face forward, crown up, chin toward your chest, shoulders, shoulder blades down, and chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling, sink evenly into your hips, slide those toes back. And we're starting where we ended with both feet coming up with the legs straight. Again, only as far as your body wants, <clears throat> Don't overstrain that lower back. The idea is to strengthen it, not to overdo it. Take a breath, maximizing or minimizing, and exhale, feet to the floor. Take a breath, and exhale your upper body down, forehead to the mat. Relax a moment and breathe. And then you can stay where you were, or for a little bit more, Bring your feet toward the edges of the mat. So a little wider with the feet. It's going to be more intense there. So don't go there if that's wrong for you. Once more, inhale, face forward, crown up. Tuck that chin back toward your chest. Chest forward and up, crown toward the ceiling. Shoulders and shoulder blades back toward your waist. And remember, no pressure in those arms. Slide the toes back. And lift the feet just a little. It's okay. You don't have to go high on this. It works that low back, so you don't want to overdo it at any point. Take a breath. Lift higher if you want to. And then exhale it. 
slowly lower the feet, take a breath, exhale, and lower the forehead. Take a breath a moment, relax everything, move those hips around, release any tension. And we're going to do one more. So you can either start with your feet hip width apart or mat width apart. We're coming into that upper body position, face to the front, crown up. Up the chin, chest forward and up, shoulders and shoulder blades down. And remember, gentle in your arms. Feet wherever they are, slide the toes back, lift the feet just a little off the floor. Keep your body there. Stretching it out and lifting your crown, chest forward, shoulders down. Or you can bring the feet a little bit further to the sides if you want to for a little bit more or not. Personal practice, don't overdo. Take a breath, bring the feet back where they started. Another breath, exit those feet down. One more breath and release your upper body. Bring your Hands under your shoulders, feet hip width apart, press into your hands, and one more time, sliding back into child's pose. Take a breath, just release any tension. And inhaling, sit up on your heels, slide off, and bring your feet all the way to the end of the mat in staff position. Core activated and slowly roll onto your sacrum and your lower ribs and your shoulder blades and your shoulders and your head down, coming all the way onto your back. Take a moment there, bringing your arms to T position. Hands, palms up or down for arch twist. So sitting bones toward your heels, press your low back down onto the floor. Pull those heels in near your hips. If you want extra low back work today, cross your leg over, otherwise keep them next to each other, feet up off the floor. We're gonna roll the knees over to the side and turn your head toward that arm behind you. Remember, shoulders down for that middle back twist, knee reaching toward the side for that lower back twist and head turning toward the opposite arm or that neck area twist. Take a breath. Just relax. And when you're ready to release, heels toward your hips, roll onto your back. If you cross your legs, uncross, straighten things out if you need to, and do it the other way. And again, palms up or down, knees going straight over to the side at hip level, turning your head to the opposite direction. Shoulders down, knee coming toward the floor as much as it wants for that low back twist. Head turning for that neck area twist. And again, keep those shoulders down, let that whole spine participate in the twist. Make sure everything is nice and stretched open as you relax. Take a breath. Remember, emphasize those exhalations to release all that tension. And heels toward your hips, roll all the way onto your back, and uncross your legs if they were crossed, feet to the floor, slide them out, and hands, palms up at your sides, in the corpse position for our final relaxation. Just move your body, find your Settle yourself deeply into that earth support. Shoulders down. Move your head, move your chin. Get that neck releasing. Soften your belly. Lots of work in that low back. So just let your whole spine release. Bring your toes toward each other. And then just release your legs, letting everything relax. Take a breath. Let's get a little just deep and further into that earth support and completely relax. Deep breaths, letting all the thoughts of your body release. Just softening and sinking. 
Allowing any thoughts coming to your mind to release. Remember, it's the job of your mind to produce thoughts. It's your choice whether you pay attention. At this moment, let the thoughts flow in and out as easily as your breath. And as you deepen into that earth embrace and allow your thoughts to drift freely, floating beyond the horizon, out of sight, out of mind. Just let your awareness turn inward. Focus on that peace within. Fill your body with peace and your mind. Being peace. If you have time to keep relaxing even longer today, take as much time as you have opportunity. And it's time to get ready for the rest of your day. Just begin drawing energy and awareness with the breath back to the moment, to the room, to your body. And as you breathe more deeply, just begin moving your body gently, however feels good for you today. Breathing more fully and stretching more completely. And when you're ready for your yoga hug of appreciation, sitting bones towards your heels, draw your heels towards your hips and your knees up toward your heart. Wrap your arms around. Give yourself that appreciative yoga hug. Let your body know you appreciate yoga work today and the work your body does for you every day. And when you're ready to release that, bring your head, feet to the floor, roll over to the side. And sit back up, getting ready for whatever's ahead for you today. Thanks for joining me.